Hello beautiful and magnificent beings, welcome to Energy and Light Awakening. In today's session we're going to be focusing on helping you find peaceful resolution. Um, whatever issue or problem you're having right now, we're really going to focus on that and just get in there and open you up to possibilities and information and downloads to help you right now. But first, I want to say thank you to um, an anonymous sender um, sent me two gifts and we're going to be using both of those today thank you so much i really appreciate um, the gifts i'm assuming you wanted to remain anonymous because normally there's a thank you card in there but um, there wasn't one so usually when that happens i know the person wants to remain anonymous Nama spray, so a little play on words. And it is the own blend, and it's for peace and relaxation. It's very strange, I thought, that they did not list the ingredients. Um, usually they do, but maybe they were afraid that they would that somebody would steal their recipe. There's definitely some citrus, citrus hints of citrus, but there's something else I can't quite put my finger on. And also this beautiful deck. I just love the earthy tones. It is the Magical Spirit Oracle, The Brilliance of You. And this is perfect for today's session too. Hopefully we will gain some information. Um, on the inside it says, trust yourself. And in the very bottom of the deck we have a sun in the box like a jack-in-the-box, but a sun in the box. And also, um, I love the art. It looks very vintage. Even the um, font is very vintage looking, which we will be shuffling and pulling three cards from this for today. So again, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm really excited to use it in today's session. And we will be using the book also so we can get a deeper meaning i don't always like to use the books i tend to go with my intuition but sometimes i do feel guided so this way we can get more information so welcoming the presence of all that is reiki masters ascended masters spirit and animal guides angelics ancestors deities saints only those of the highest truth and compassion and love are welcome here. We call you in. We welcome you. We welcome the support and guidance. So all of the stones I'm using today um, were specifically chosen for peace. And uh, selenite being one of those. Oops, there we go. Sorry, my table's a little mess down here. So for your palm stones, we are using these lovely selenite sticks. And for your grounding, I have this, which I've used before. You know it if you're familiar with my channel. This flower agate at your feet. And oh, I just, you know, I don't know, maybe it was a subliminal subconscious. I didn't realize how much the stone <laughs> matches the cards. How funny. I'm just feeling very earthy tones and energies today for this session for some reason. And also, um, instead of the usual Usui or um, Karuna key, I am doing Shamanic Reiki today. So that's also another thing. Like, I usually like to plan out my sessions, but lately I've just been going more by intuition. And it's just so amazing sometimes, like just now it hit me. I didn't realize how well everything came together by perfect example of learning to trust and follow our intuition. I didn't have to plan or think about it. It just came together so naturally, which I love when that happens. It's so exciting for me. And also I will be using my Bones of the Earth stone. This is great for working with energy centers, overall energy balance, and also peace stones I will be using with pink calcite and also uh, this natural raw amethyst. 
I'm charging up my hands. Welcoming that beautiful divine flow, that ancient and sacred energy of Reiki, Mother Earth energies, frequencies, elemental, air and water spirits. And I'm going to start with a little of the Nama spray. Ooh, it has a good sprayer too. I like it when it's more of a very fine mist and just kind of flows out. Again, very citrusy, but uh, very light, gentle, not as strong, overpowering. And I'm not, I'm not quite sure what that other smell. I wish you could smell it. I know some of you have a, has a tendency to be able to smell things when I'm working. So if you think you know what it is, and you're one of those people, please let me know. So now I'm going to begin to minimize any stress any overwhelm, anxiety, bringing to your mind the perfect solution. You might receive it in this video, you might receive it after, it could be the next day. Whenever the right time is, it will come to you. You might get a flash in your mind, you might just know. So just clearing out anything that might be causing you to continue to loop or stay in that same energy where you're having a difficult time coming up with something. We're clearing all of that out as well, making space for the new, because sometimes we can be a little short-sighted and we just keep thinking of that same thing over and over and over or several things. And clearly those are not working or maybe they did, but it's not enough. So we're just releasing all of that right now. Again, making space, letting that new energy and focus, those new ideas and inspirations flow in. Also, allow yourself to become sensorily aware um, in the body. Where are you feeling tension in the shoulders, the neck, in the chest, in the stomach? Also, focusing on that and letting it go, releasing, opening that space. Allow yourself to be pulled gently by that centrifugal force, just releasing inside and allowing, feeling that gentle sensation on the outside, releasing the tension, feeling more awakened and energetic, letting go of the heaviness that has just made you feel overwhelmed from trying to find a solution. allowing the clairs to feel stimulated, bringing new insight, inspiration, simply allowing whatever is needed right now, known and unknown. Hashanaye kyattai uhushukattaye Kunati ayehoa, kukui, shnti anaye kyatai, anahatu tutui, shtiaka. Centralizing. <laughs> 
Breathe and receive. Breathe and receive. Stabilizing the energy. You're feeling lighter and lifted. You're open to receive. You're feeling balanced and stable. Hashana hani kukaye unutui atae. Ashuna ukui hati yatai wa kukatuishta. Stepping into your authentic power, trusting your guidance, feeling supported. Begin to close out. The powerful healing of eternal love is with you now and always. Divine consciousness fills your every cell. You are whole, healthy, vital, and at peace. You are pure, clear, and balanced. May you be free of incident and may your life flow with ease. All right, let's pull three cards. Oh, right out of the bat. Jumped right out. Okay. The Seeker, number 36. All seeing eye, spirit, release. So trusting your guidance, your intuition, releasing what is not helping, releasing any fears, trusting the divine spirit. A lot of water elements in there. And let's see what the book will tell okay, us. Here we go. The Seeker, All Seeing Eye, Spirit, Release, Analytical, Affirmation, Spell. I surrender to the Divine. The third eye does not look. In order to see, instead, it feels and knows. It is the most mystical of all spiritual symbols and is the seeker of our world, the part of us that brings us to higher understandings and connections, oops, and connects us to the divine if we allow it to. This is so amazing. I love it. It's so perfect for what we're working with today. The seeker archetype is the cloaked being who can travel between realms. Oh, sorry, the light is hitting my magnifying glass. The travels between realms, the one who uncovers the universal magic and mysteries, the finder of Atlantis in the sea, the opener of the ancient books, even when the world tells them not to, they travel to forbidden and uncharted lands when others are too fearful to do so. Ironically, our human nature and our own two eyes can often get in the way of our seeking. So true. Part of learning to see with our third eye is actually to close our own, to get out of the way of boxed-in thinking, rationalizing and overanalyzing. Reason and logic are not what carry us to magical realms. It is surrendering to spirit, 
and quieting our minds so we can open to the mysterious, the one who learns to see does it by using their third eye connection with spirit. Notice the goddess in the artwork is crying. She cries tears of awe and wonder what she is seeing. Her third eye wide open looking toward the heavens is symbolic of the heightened understanding and awakening we are capable of receiving. A release. Yeah, let me see. Oh, there's a little bit more. The tears flowing downwards allows for the rise, the third eye seeing upwards. Observe how the goddess becomes the horizon. She is the rising sun with renewed sense of optimism for life. The sun is with her mouth as though she will speak expression, express or sing about her powerful experience. That surrendering and release, rather than controlling and consuming, was how she achieved it. She asked you, could you surrender a little bit more? And let me just show you again. And you can see there's like golden light in her mouth where it was talking about the sun rising. So very interesting, inspiring. I mean, this is so perfect. It goes with everyday actions, our way of being, who we are. And it, I think it's one of the most difficult things as human, learning to trust ourselves, learning to trust that guidance. And I've talked about this before, how I spend a day following my intuition. This is something that has really helped me, like I was talking about earlier, how all of this just came together. And also, I love that this is purple. I also felt guided to use the amethyst. These are all, uh, it had to do with peace, but look at all the purple in this card also, the higher consciousness colors coming through. Amazing. So let's pull one more. What last message would you like to reveal? Oh, there it is. <clears throat> Liberation. Just let me be. And you can see she's surrounded by, oh, I think it's little fairies. Little fairies are holding her hair out. She's surrendering, she's liberated, she's not stressed out or worried. Free spirit, wild, authentic. So being our authentic selves, again, trusting the universe. Um, the solutions for us might not necessarily be right for other people because again, trusting our authentic nature of who we are, what comes to us and how to use it. And it's number 43, okay. Number 43, liberation. Free spirit, wild, authentic, carefree. Ugh, can you imagine what life would be like if we could just do that every day without a care or worry, how our life would change? I don't think there would be any wars or any disputes or you know, wars and anger towards other people. We would be so happy living in the moment that these things would no longer exist. I can't even imagine living in a world like that. Okay, and the affirmation or spell, I am unapologetic. Being myself, I connect with my world. Okay, and there's a little bit the of one. one who cannot be caged, the wildflower, the heart that is free, the liberated spirit is not one that has changed or is different now. They just stop being everything they are not. They stopped being who others wanted them to be, how the world said they should be. The free spirit calls you near, carefree and unapologetic. They dance barefoot beneath the full moon, hair flying in the wind. They swim naked in the vast ocean, feeling big and small all at once. It doesn't matter. You may be watching. It isn't for others. It's for the revival and, and invigoration of their own spirit. It is to connect with the great goddess. The free spirit runs barefoot on endless fields 
of wildflowers and even wildfires following her bliss, chasing her passion, listening to her intuition. That's the third time intuitions come up in this session. Over all else, she values freedom of her own soul and the adventure of her life. She drinks straight from the clear, cool waterfall of spirit that has brought her to tears of gratitude, feeling her eyes so deeply, experiences the fulfillment, fullness of existence, appreciating the so muchness of it all. Pulling this card invites you to welcome more of this energy at this time. There is an irresistible freedom that comes with connecting to this part of the divine feminine. It is wild, unapologetic, faithfully surrendered. It is unhinged, unfiltered, erratic, creative bliss, and we need it, and we need it. Our soul cannot thrive, our spirit, our primal self needs to let out a very loud yell every now and then. The wild animal within us must be allowed to break free. This is part of keeping a healthy soul. So both of these cards are talking about um, bringing tears to the eyes, both both of the, um, oops. Both of them, it's talking about crying. So for some of you, this could be a release if this session caused you to cry. I know this happens uh, sometimes with my videos. Many of you tell me that you don't know. Sometimes you know why, but sometimes you don't know why, but you just start to cry because you're experiencing um, a blockage release. You needed to get that out of your system. So possibly for some of you, you're just crying. Go out in nature, just sit quietly and allow your body to release however it needs to. It could also be in dance. It's talking about dancing and uh, swimming. So maybe being in or around water will be helpful with this solution also. Besides the Reiki, if you know my work, you know I always like to offer um, many things in my videos, not just the straight Reiki, which I, I do sometimes. But for me, this channel, these videos are about putting as much without overwhelming giving as much as i can besides just the reiki to help you and so these cards very powerful and so many ideas came through that i would not have come up with on my own just now so you might want to uh, listen to these readings again because i feel like there's little messages little gems in there for some of you that will help you besides the session and the other things i've said whatever they were talking about doing. So, wow, that was amazing. I love it. Thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. I appreciate you so much. All that you do, I mean, gifts, uh, the donations, the comments that you make, all of the warm, heartfelt wishes and blessings, all of the love and support is just so amazing that I've gotten this far with this channel. I had no idea what to expect and I'm getting closer to the 20,000 mark, which is wow. I can't even imagine. I still have a ways to go, but it's uh, creeping up. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much. Highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Satnam.